What's that? What was that about here? And like probably cut out some of the extra post for audio. Mm -hmm. Since there's like three of those, I think, three or four. We're trying to keep an eye on it, so yeah. So when you're well, when you're when you're after nine thirty, <coughs> take a look and see where we are. But yeah, by eleven. Okay. But yeah, if you're not at the at the trade nine forty, you need to skip the one. I hate to skip the ones that are. <coughs> Skip the ones that are normal for that tone and go for the ones that are for that the day because it's like the Albion. They're they're you know, they're more I think they're more important to him. People don't always hear those when they're not paying attention. Uh, no, no. Uh. to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sam, I don't know. Okay. Good morning, dear faithful. We thank God for bringing us together here into our St. Mark Sanctuary to pray as a church family to continue to offer our prayers for all of the good things in life. We also thank those who continue to connect with us from afar and to light their candles. I see that Gerard and some of our others are here in order to have your candles to be lit. 
May our dear Lord continue to bring us together in prayer on this day and forevermore. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, our hope. Glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us. Lord, forgive our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth that is as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save it, Lord, your people. Bless your inheritance. Grant them victory as faithful of the enemy, and by your cross, picking your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You looked on the cross voluntarily of Christ our God, bestow your tender compassion upon the new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, grant them the victories against their adversaries, and for an ally, Lord. May they have you. Peace is their armor, the trophy invisible, but now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Our awesome ship of protection, good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our opinion, petitions. Wake, make the community of the Orthodox, save those whom you call the rule, grant them victory from heaven. We give birth to God, naturally blessed. <laughs> For you are merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and earth peace, goodwill toward men. You, O Lord, shall open my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. You, O Lord, shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, I greatly multiply to those who afflict me. Many have risen up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, the one lifting up my head. I have cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep, I awake and I rise, because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriad of people who are together gathering and at, uh, gathering at, from all sides. Arise, Lord, save me, O my Lord, for you have struck down all those who opposing me in vain. You have shattered the teeth of sinners, salvation is from the Lord, and may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. I lie down and sleep, I awake and I rise, because the Lord is helping me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, and do not discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hand has come down upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my many transgressions have risen above my head, and as a heavy burden they weigh down upon me. My wounds have become foul and are festering because of my imprudent folly. I am suffering and utterly dejected, as I go about all day long in misery. For my loins are filled with agonizing pain, there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled, groaning with deep sighs from the pain of my heart. O Lord, my every desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has left me. 
Even the light of my eyes, that too is no longer with me. My friends and my neighbors have come near to stand against me, and my close relatives stand afar off. And those seeking my soul were violent, and those seeking to harm me spoke vain things, plotting deceitful things all day long. But I, as a deaf man, did not listen, and I stood there as a mute who does not open his mouth. And so I became like a man who does not hear, and who does not have any retort upon his mouth. For upon you, O Lord, I have placed my hope. You, O Lord, my God, are the one to hear me. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. Let them not be boastful over me when my foot slips. For I am well prepared and ready to be scourged, and my pain is always with me. For I acknowledge and declare my iniquity, and will sorrowfully compensate for my sin. But my enemies live and have become stronger than I, and those who hate me without cause have multiplied. Now those who rendered me evil instead of good have slandered me, because I have pursued justice. Do not forsake me then, O Lord, my God, do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, my God, do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, you are arise early in dawn. My soul thirsts for you, and many years my body yearns for you, as in a desert land, impassable in parts. With such a thing, desire appear before you in the holy temple to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is far better than my earthly gift of life, and my lips readily praise and glorify you. Thus I will continue to bless you throughout my life and to raise my hands for prayer to your name. My soul with us be satisfied as with the choice food of marrow and fat, and with joy lips my mouth will praise you. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper, so in the shelter of my wings I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. But they who in vain have sought my soul will enter the lowest parts of the earth. They will be surrendered to those who have sword in the hand and become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will now rejoice the Lord God, and everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised, while the mouth of those speaking unjustly will now surely be shut. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper, so in the shelter of my winds I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with troubles, and my life has touched Hades. I am accounted as one among those going down into the pit, having become as a man who is helpless, free only among the dead. I resemble wounded men cast aside asleep in a grave, whom you remember no more, and who are thrust aside by your hand. You have placed me in the deepest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. The blows of your anger have fallen upon me, and all of your successive ways you have directed upon me. You have distanced my acquaintances from me, and have made me abhorrent to them. I am abandoned in isolation and unable to escape. My eyesight has grown weak in my misery, but I have cried to you, all, Lord, all day long. To you have I lifted up my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up to acknowledge you? Surely no one in the grave will relate your mercy and your truth in the place of perdition. Will your wonders be made known in the place of darkness and your justice in the land of oblivion? And so I have cried to you, O Lord, in the morning my prayer will come to you. Why, O oh Lord, do you push away my soul and turn your face away from me? I am poor and in tribulations for my youth. While briefly raised, I was again humbled and perplexed. Your wrath has swept over me. Your threats have utterly alarmed me. They have immersed me as if in water all day long and have totally encompassed me. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my long struggle with illness. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefactions. He pardons all your iniquities and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption and crowns you with mercy and compassion. 
He satisfies your needs with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and justice to all who are wronged. He has made his ways known to Moses, his will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always be angry, nor will he be wrathful forever. For he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor does he reward us according to our iniquities. For as the height of the heaven is far from earth, so greatly has the Lord extended his mercy to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our sins from us. As a father is compassionate to his sons, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how well how we were formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He will flourish but as a flower of the field. For the wind will pass through it and it will soon disappear and no one will recognize its place any longer. But the mercy of the Lord remains forever and ever upon those who fear him. And his righteousness remains upon the sons of sons who keep his covenant and who remember his commandments and observe them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who hearken to the voices of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his heavenly powers, his ministers who carry out his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, accept my supplication in your truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter the judgment with your servant, for no living person can be justified before you. But the enemy has persecuted my soul, has held my life to the ground. I may sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit within me became despondent while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old and pondered on all your works. Reflecting on the creations of your hands, I lift my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Perfectly answer me, O Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, least of it like those who have gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I place my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way I must follow, for to you have I lifted up my soul. Rescue my enemies, O Lord, but in you have I taken refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the straight and upright path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, grant me life, and your righteousness bring my soul out of affliction, and in your mercy utterly destroy my enemies. I bring to nothing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your faithful servant. Answer me in your righteousness, do not enter the judgment of the servant. Answer me in your righteousness, and do not enter the judgment of the servant. Your good spirit shall guide me on the straight and upright path. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. Enerini tukirio da ithoman. Eri eleiso. Iparti sanu thenirini skiti sotirias tom sihoni mon tukirio da ithoman. Eri eleiso. Iparti sirini stu simbaros kosmo abstathias ton eu tutiu klision. Kitis ton bandon en os eos, tu kirio da ithoman. Kirio da ithoman. Ipar tu aiu iku tu tu, ke tu meta piste os e blavias, ke fovo tiu ision den en afto, tu kirio da ithoman. Kirio da ithoman. Ipar tu nef savon, ke ortodoxon, kristianon, tu kirio da ithoman. Kirio da ithoman. Tu are episcopo e mon alexiu, tu tu miu presbiteriu, tis in Christo diaconias, pandos tu curu, cu tu laud, tu curio da ithoman. Kyrie eleison. For our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the holy and great church of Christ, the city and parish, and for every city and land, and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, and captives, 
And for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Εξομολογήστε το Κύριο και επικαλείστε το όνομα του Άγιον αυτού. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίρ, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. All the nations have surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, by your sacred cross you abolished death and granted unto the thief blessed paradise. The myrrh bearer ceased lamenting and turned to joy. The apostles did preach the good news at your command that you had risen from the dead, O Christ our God. Bestowing your mercy upon the world evermore. Ατέλησα στο σταυρό σου τον θάνατον, η νέο, η νέο ξαστολίστη των παραδείσων, των μυροφόρων των θρήνων μετέβαλες και της εις αποστολής, Κύριοι την επέταξας, ότι εμπέστης Χριστέ ο Θεός, παρέχον το κόσμο το μέγα έλεο. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Allotted Lady, our resurrection's treasure house, we put our trust in you and pray you. Bring us out, out of the pit and deep sea of our offenses. For you saved us who were liable for sin when you gave birth to our salvation. As a virgin before childbirth and a virgin during childbirth, and after childbirth, the virgin still. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Life was placed in the sepulcher, and a seal was placed on the stone. The soldiers were guarding Christ like a sleeping king. The angels glorified 
find him as their immortal God. And the women cried aloud, The Lord has risen, and he has granted to the world the great mercy. <laughs> Τον θάνατον και φθαρέντα των ανθρωπών. Η ζωφόρο εγέρση σου. Αναστήσα Χριστέ ο Θεό. Ω φιλάνθρωπο δόξα σου. From now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. Christ was crucified for us. He destroyed the power of death. He rose from the dead. O Virgin Theotokos, we pray you unceasingly, implore him to save our souls. The tomb being sealed, you rose from the sepulchre of Christ, God the light. And the doors being shut, you came to the disciples, a resurrection of all. Through them you renew a right spirit in within us, according to your great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In tears the women ran to the tomb, bringing ointments. And they were saying to the one and other, who will roll away the stone for us. For you, the King of all, were guarded by soldiers. Then they heard the angelic voice addressing them. The angel of great counsel has trampled death, and he has risen. O Almighty Lord, glory to you. Now and forever, unto the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, made full, full of grace. O Virgin Theotokos, you are the heaven and protection of the human race. From you, the Redeemer of the world, became incarnate. And only you are both a mother and a virgin, O Lady ever blessed and glorified. We pray you intercede with Christ our God to grant peace to the whole world. When the hosts of the angels saw how you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you rose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the myrrh-bearing women were hasting to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended. Weep no more, go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the mirror-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulcher, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. 
Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For is God, he is risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cried aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Both now and forever and to the ages of the ages, ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life a virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate, God and man, has directed life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 Lord, of the host. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, <coughs> let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ God, who took our form and bodily endured the cross, save me by your resurrection, O benevolent Lord. Return the captives of Zion from their wandering. As for me, enliven me and free me from captivity to passions. In the south, those who sow affliction with tears and fasting will reap the shares of joy, the staff of life everlasting. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. In the Holy Spirit is the source of the divine treasures. From Him is wisdom, understanding, and fear. To Him praises due, glory, honor, and dominion. <laughs> Τον της ψυχής μα την κοπιόμεν Λίγαρ αυτού η πράξη σου λόγος θελείτε Του καρπού της γαστρός η Άγιε Πνευματοκινήτος Αναβλαστούς η πλατάτροα δόγματα υιοθεσίας Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Αγίο Πνεύματι τα σύμπαντα το ενέχει προπάντο γαρ Θεός τον όλον Κύριο της φως απρόσιτον those who fear the Lord will find the ways of life, both now or never, and will be called blessed for having immortal glory. As you see your offspring like olives round your table, rejoice and be glad, O Chief Shepherd, as you bring them to Christ. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let now and ever, unto the ages of ages, amen. The Holy Spirit is an ocean of divine gifts, a wealth of glory and great depth of judgment. He is identical in glory to the Father and the Son 
and therefore to be worshipped. Arise, O Lord my God, let your hand be lifted high, and do and not forget your for it to the end. Ανάσθητη Κύριε ο Θεός μου, υψωθεί το ηχείρι σου, μη επιλάθη των πενήτων σου εις το τέλος. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. Arise, O Lord, my God, let your hands be lifted high, and do not forget your poor to the end. Amen. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. No longer will the power of death be able to detain human beings, for Christ went down and crushed it and destroyed all its forces. Hades is shackled, and the prophets of unison rejoice and proclaim, the Savior has come to those in darkness. Come now and come out now, believers, to the resurrection. Come now, believers, believers to, to the, the resurrection. resurrection. The netherworld below is trembling today, Hades and death before one of the Trinity. Earth shook, and when they saw you, the doorkeepers of Hades quaked. Now all creation, along with the prophets, rejoices and sings you an ode of triumph. O God, our Redeemer, who now destroyed the force of death. Now destroyed the force of death. And let us shout aloud to Adam and his descendants. A tree brought him in. Come out now, believers, to the resurrection. Come out now, believers, to the resurrection. When you come down to earth, O God, in glory, all things will cover, cower, tremble us, and a river of fire will draw before your judgment seat. The books shall be opened up, and the public knowledge will things be hidden. Rescue me then, I pray, from unquenchable fire, and count me worthy to stand at your right hand, O you most righteous judge. O you your most righteous, righteous judge. judge. Considering well your fearsome judgment, exceedingly good Lord, and the judgment day, I shudder and I am frightened at the accusations of my conscience. When you are seated on your throne and conduct the examination, no one can deny their sins, accused by truth and possessed by terror. Great will be the sound of the Gehenna fire then and the gnashing of sinners. Therefore have mercy on me before the end and pity me, O you most righteous judge. O you the most righteous judge. On March 10, we commemorate the holy martyr Quadrus of Corinth and those with him, Anectos, Paul, Dionysius, Cyprian, and Crescens. On this day, we also commemorate our devout mother, Anastasia the Patrician. On this day, St. Marcion was bludgeoned to death. The holy neo-martyr Michael Mavrudis, who witnessed in Thessaloniki in the year 1544, died by fire. On this day, we also remember the second and impartial coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, in our ineffable benevolence, O Christ our God, make us worthy to hear your auspicious voice. Number us among those at your right hand and have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. Tablets upon the rock of your command, my heart, O Master, sorely shake as it is, O Lord. Only you are holy, and again only you are the Lord. On hearing about your advent, the Lord, Prophet Habakkuk of old, was frightened that you purposed the virgin 
to be born and appear to humankind. And thus the Lord said, I have heard your report, and I am frightened. Glory to your power, O Lord my God. Early in the morning when I rise from night, give me your light, I pray, and direct me in the way of your divine commandments, and teach me always to do your will, O gracious Master. The voice I know, Licardia mu, Προς τον ηχθήρ μον Θεόν και επίκουσέ μου, εξάδου κατ' οτάθου και ανοίγαγεν εκ φοράς της ζωής μου. We sinned, O Lord, and we broke your law. We behaved unrighteously before you, and neither have we kept your word unracted according to the way. You commanded for us, yet, O God of the fathers, we pray, do not utterly deliver us up. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord, Him whom the host of the heavens glorify, at the whom quake the cherubim and the seraphim, every breath and creation extol him now and bless him and exalt supremely unto all the ages Πασαπνοί ενέσα το τον κυριόν. Let everything that breathes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are merciful, God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. En esa to pnoi pasa ton girio. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved and said to them, they have taken away the Lord out of the tomb. We do not know where they laid him. Peter came out with the other disciple and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths and the napkin which had been laid on his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. <laughs> then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know that the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Having built the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate. Your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Of all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, with the cross, joyous come to the whole world, ever blessing Lord, 
Let us praise his resurrection. Having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Nee, have mercy on me, O God, according to great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Simonon y Martón, que to ponirón e afton su episa, opos an dikeothis en dislogis su, que ni quisis en to crinestes, y dugar en anomia sin elifin, que en amartíes equisime y mitir mu. Η δούγαρα λύθη ανοίγα πισάς, τα άδειλα και τα κρύφια, τη σοφία σου εδηλωσάς μη. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sin and blot out my transgression. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Διδάξω ανόμους τα σωδούσου και ασεβείς επίς επιστρέψουσι. Χρήσε με ξεμάτων ο Θεός, ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου. Η γαλλιάσετε η γλώσσα μου την δικαιοσύνη σου. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξεις και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ενεσήν σου. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Open to me the gate of repentance, O giver of life. For early in the morning my spirit hastens to your holy temple, bringing the temple of my body all defiled. But as one compassionate cleanse me, I pray your loving kindness and great mercy. Both now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Guide me in the path of salvation. O Theotokos, for I have befound my soul with shameful sin, and I heedlessly squandered all of my life. 
God's resources. By your intercessions, deliver me from every uncleanness. Ελέησον με ο Θεός κατά το μέγα ελαιό σου και κατά το πλήθος των νικτυρμών σου εξάλειψον το ανώμημά μου τα πλήθη των πεπραγμένων μηδινών ενώνω τα λαστρέμων την φοβεράν ημέραν της Χρυσαίος αλλά θωρώνεις το έλεος της εσπλαχνίας σου ως ο Δαβίδ Βόση ελέησον με ο Θεός κατά το Μέγα Ελαιό Σου. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Visit your world in mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the prayers of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, through the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of Peter and Paul, the 12 and the 70 holy, glorious and all ordered apostles, and of Herman the apostle to America, of our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the theologian, and John Chrysostom, of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, the patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mira, Spiridon of Trimithus, Nectarius of Pontopolis, and John of San Francisco, the wonder workers, of our fathers among the saints, Innocent and Tikhon, the Enlighteners of America, Raphael of Brooklyn and Monterey of Chicago, and Saint Luke, the surgeon of Simropol, of the holy proto-martyr and archdeacon Stephen, and the holy glorious great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mer Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker of Eleutherios, Haralambos, Cosmas, et Alos, John Alexander, and Juvenali, the holy priest martyrs, of the holy glorious great martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina Paraskevi, and Irene, of Peter the Aleut and Proto-Martyr of North America, and of the holy, glorious, and victorious 179 martyrs of the Daupendelis Monastery, and of Kiriakos, and of the unmercenary and healer Pandeleimon, of the priest confessors, Alexis of Pennsylvania, Jacob of Alaska, and Sebastian of San Francisco, and of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, and all of the holy ascetics, of the evangelist and apostle Mark, the patron saint of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the saints we commemorate today, the holy martyr, Cardretru, of the holy martyrs with him, Anectos, Paul the Onesios, Cyprian and Crescens, and of this day we commemorate a devout mother, Anastasia, and of our holy martyr, Saint Martian, and of the holy near martyr, Michael. And uh, today we also remember the second and impartial coming of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And of all your saints, we beseech you, the O merciful Lord, hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Have mercy, Yara Buddha, Yara Buddha, Yara Buddha. Os poli poli loi, os poli poli loi, os poli poli loi. Kyrie 
Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. The Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who by a word alone did bring all rational and irrational beings you created from all things out of nothing. We pray and entreat you, O Lord, to safeguard this your servant, Alexandra, through childbirth as she now draws near to holy illumination and brings into her the church to forgive sins and make her worthy to, of your pure and holy sacraments. And we ask, O Lord, that you bless this child that was born of her, that you will bless him, that you will bless him and give him prudence and sanctify him with good judgment, you have brought him out of nothing into being and shown him the light of the senses. Make him worthy also for a spiritual and holy baptism in due time, that he may be numbered among your holy flock and your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and your life-giving Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord our God, who according to the law were brought as a child into the temple on the 40th day by Mary, your holy virgin mother, and were carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, Almighty Lord, we ask that you bless this child that is now presented to you, that he may know you as the creator of all things, grant that he may increase in every good work that is pleasing to you, and by the sign of your precious cross, drive away from him any adverse power that you alone are the Lord and protector of infants. Make him worthy of holy baptism in due time and achieve the place amongst those who are chosen in your kingdom. Protect him and by your grace and your Holy Spirit to be long all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. I shall enter your holy house and I shall worship you in your church. The servant of God, Christian, is churched in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the midst of the church I shall sing your praise. The servant of God, Christian, is churched in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Christian, is churched in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you prepared in the presence of all people, a light for the revelation of the Gentiles and glory of your people Israel. Amen. And bless you all. Honoring with him, so let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit is rejoiced in God, my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. <laughs> Τη δούλη αυτού, η δούγαρα από τον ίν μακαριούσι σε πάτσε γενέ. Την τιμιότεραν τον χερουβίν και ενδοξοτέραν να συγκρίτω στο σεραφίν. Την αδιαφόρο στεολόγων τεκούσαν. In London, Theotokon, For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and the glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and the truly Theotokos, who do we magnify? For he has shown strength in his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. 
Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and truly Theotokos, whose do we magnify. He has put down the mighty with thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, who do we magnify. As porus ilipse os otokus aminin eftos, mitros anandru as poros ikisis, Teuga i genisi ke no pita tsvisis, Dio se pase gene, os teon infon mitera, orthodoxos megalinome. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us. Save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. The powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the high. Sound ensembles, praise and with triumph assembles, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. I ponder that day in the Lord when all naked as convicts will appear before the judge we cannot bribe. Then it was cray crop will sound, the foundations of earth will be shaken, and the dead will be raised from the graves, and all will become one of stature. And all that is hidden will be presented openly before you. They shall mourn and wail who have never been repented. And they shall depart into the outer fire with joy and exaltation with a lot of righteous enter into the heavenly chamber. Anonis, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us first cleanse ourselves, O brethren, by the Queen, the Queen of Virtues. For behold, she is here providing us 
where the wealth of blessings she suppresses our swelling passions and reconciles offenses with the master therefore let us welcome her with a cheerful heart crying out to christ our god you who rose from the dead keep us uncondemned as we glory by you only sinless one both now and forever unto the ages of ages amen you are supremely blessed O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who, who became you incarnate, Hades has been captured and Adam has been called back. A curse has been killed and Eve had been freed. Death has put to death and we have been brought back to life. Therefore we extol him and cry out, O oh Christ our God, you are blessed. So was, so was your good pleasure. Glory to you. Glory to you, O giver of life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth be. We worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world of mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive my prayer. You who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Fear the God of mercy and love mankind unto you, you, glory, Lord, Father, God, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Your name is praise and glory, and peace be with you all. God, forever, amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord. Holy Lord, you are on high and see Holy things below. Holy Lord, upon our creation, with your overseeing eye, we bow our soul and our body. We pray to you, extend our invisible hands from your holy God and place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your holy and heavenly blessings. Blessed are you, Lord. Teach me your commandments. Now and at the age of age. Blessed are you, O Lord. Blessed is Christ you, our God, always known ever to the ages of ages. Mind, you have been our refuge, Lord. Most holy Theotokos, save us. One generation to the next, I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord. May Christ, our true God, who is a merciful God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his pure God. holy mother, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the holy glorious, and all our apostles, St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of our church, of Codratos, and the fellow martyrs of him, 
Anastasia of Alexandra, Lord, Alexandra, Lord, Alexandra Lord, Michael the New Lord, Martyr. Lord, Remember, we celebrate today of all your saints. Lord, the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, Lord, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. May the Lord guide your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you in his kingdom always down ever to the age of ages. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O immortal, have mercy on us. O Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop Alexius, for the honorable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the holy and great church of Christ, for this holy archdiocese, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. 
Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, save your savers. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, then, Ramos, holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O ti sondo kratos, que suestini vasilia, que dinamis, que doxa, tu patros, que tu iu, que tu iu pnevmatos, nin que ai, que isus eonas ton eonon. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. So, so ni masi eteu, o anastas ek neklon, shalom nasi, alleluia. Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us, who sing to you, alleluia. The Lord reigns until the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. Sonimasiateu, <speaking in Hebrew> Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, now, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are good and loving God, and you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Thank you. 
Lord, and by the right of glory for the years of That you had risen from the dead of Christ our God, be so in your mercy upon the world evermore. Sophia, Lord, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπομεν το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύματι νυν και αγί. Στου αιώνα των Oh, 
is he who comes in the name of the Lord? Blessed is he who is thrown upon the cherubim, always now and ever done to the age of ages. Great is our Lord and great is his power. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, food will not commend us to God. We are no worse if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. Only take care lest the liberty of yours somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if anyone sees you, a man of knowledge, at table in an idol's temple, might he not be encouraged, if his conscience is weak, to eat food offered to idols? And so, by your knowledge, the weak man is destroyed, the brother for whom Christ died. Thus, sinning against your brethren and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of my brother's failing, I will never eat meat, lest I cause my brother to fall. Am I not free? Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen Jesus our Lord? Are not you my workmanship in the Lord? If to others I am not an apostle, at least I am to you, for you are the seal of my apostleship in the Lord." Let us hear the Holy Gospel. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. said, when the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, then He will sit on His glorious throne. Before Him will be gathered all the nations, and He will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And He will place the sheep at His right hand, but the goats at the left. Then the King will say to those at His right hand, Come, O blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see thee hungry and feed thee, or thirsty and give thee drink? And when did we see thee a stranger and welcome thee, or naked and clothe thee? And when did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer, Lord, when did we see thee hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to thee? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, 
you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Be with you who proclaims the gospel. Again, we fall before you and we pray to you, O good and loving God, hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so they may always worship you with reverence and love and partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always being guarded by your divine power, that we may give glory unto you, unto the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Serve you as great and awesome, even for your heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our high priest and Lord of all. Spirit to the best and with the grace of the priest that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy pure body and your precious blood. Therefore I come with my God and I pray to you, turn your face not away from me, nor reject me among your children, but make me your sinful and awareness for me to offer you these gifts. For you, O Christ our God, are the offer and the offer of the one who is received and distributed them to you and give glory together with your all holy good and life giving to me. Right. 
Quando ni mon nisi kirios o theos and the vasilia of tu pando te ninke ahi ke isus eonas ton eono Petos drepti mare tore lor, Christian sava pominiasca domne nu, domne ju in truem puriciasa, tue de aevan acumse, purgam se uveci veci lor. Gospod, Bog spomien es fenetu sarves foie, sfag dar sa di voeci uvecu va. El Senior Dios te cuerde do nosotros, en su reino enteramente ora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, and on to the ages of ages. Kiri 
Η πέλ τουριστή νέοι μας από πάσης λήψεως αρχής κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησον, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός τη συγχαρητή. That the whole day may be perfect, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and in repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian and our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. This, o Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. You, o Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, from whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen καλό, στόμεν μεταφόβου, πρόσκομεν την Αγίαν αναφοράν, εν ειρήνη προσφέρειν. Εν αιμόν ειρήνης, εσύ ανενέσαιο. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts on us home and ask our Dios. And let us 
us give thanks unto the Lord of Haristisum and Kirio. comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing into being, and when we fell away, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim, the seraphim, six-winged, many eyes soaring aloft upon their wings. the world that you gave your only begotten son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather he delivered himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fayete, tutum to soma. Tui perimon, clomenon, isafesina, martion. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Piete ex aftu pandes, tutu estito emamu. Totis genis de atikis, tui perimon, polone, hinomenon. Isafesina Martion. Remembering therefore the saving commandment, all that is done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second in glory is coming again. Tasa ecton son si prosferoman katapanda kai aponda. We offer to you these gifts from our, your own gifts in all and for all. And once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon these gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For Saint John the Prophet, and the Holy Glorious and all the Apostles, Remember also, 
Churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, brightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, the country, and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, and captives granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches, and those who care for the poor and send down to us your rich mercy. We pray today, O Lord, for those enduring religious persecution about the world, for peace in the world, for your servants, our Yiros, Sophia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, Mary, Jane, Pete, Dimitri, Peter, Melanie, Talia, Elena, Alexandra, Gloria, Stavros, George, Nicholas, Mary Ellen, Barbara, Chris, Don Samantha, Michael, Margarita, Kathy, Irene, Zachary, Evgenia, Evgenia, Michael, o Olivia, Constantinos, Theo Theodoros, Ioanni, Sevdokia, Don, Luke, Theodore, Luigi, Katerina, Sofia, Stavros, Katerina, Theodore, and Stavro, and for your servants, O Lord, Katerina, Daphne, and Mary. And have mercy on us and save us as a good God who loves mankind and grant that with one voice and with one heart we may praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your We're spirit. Gonna sit down now. We're going to sit down. Let's go sit down. Good morning, dear faithful. Always a blessing to be together and to offer the divine liturgy so that we can all come together to worship as one church family. It's always a blessing. You heard last week that we had some visiting priests, and I'd like to just mention who we have here today. Certainly you know Father Alexander and Father Jim, and their dear friend who is here with us as well, one of the true stalwarts of our Orthodox faith in America. Father Al Demas is here with us, and he was formerly the, amongst many things in his life, he was the chancellor of the metropolis of Boston at one point. He also, I'll tell you from a personal perspective, there's a new initiative of the last, maybe within the last 10 years or so of the archdiocese of the GOA. And Father Al is the one, the clergy, who spearheads this program called the Clergy Family Initiative, which gives aid to clergy families to alleviate debt amongst other things. So we thank him for spearheading that um, approach and for the other many things in life. We also have Father Lorendios again with his beautiful family here, Presbyteria Camille, and the children who are here. It was a great joy because the other day I saw him in church and then shortly after, a couple days later, I saw him playing basketball with his son here at church. So a great way. When we bring the children to church, everything seems to follow suit after that. So for the kids that want to get involved, the best place is to start in worship and then to go forth from there. Speaking of the things that we have coming up, we had a very busy weekend, including today. We had two funerals on Friday. We had Saturday of the Souls Liturgy yesterday with the beautiful names that we offered in memorial. We had two baptisms following. Today, we certainly have the Divine Liturgy, which we're here present for. And we have two things to attend to after Divine Liturgy today. We have the Oratorical Festival, our parish level Oratorical. We thank all of the parents and the participants who have prepared thus far for their Sunday church school teachers and for the guides as well. And we also have the last in this time frame of our Thinking Theologically class, where our catechist Jamie really guides us into a different level, a different experience into some of these topics that we 
um, see on more of a surface level in some of our classes. So may our dear Lord continue to bring us together as we learn about the faith. This is one of the last Sundays we're gonna be talking about this, but this is our Lenten challenge. And we ask all those who are interested in participating in the Lenten challenge to go onto Realm and to sign up. Once again, sign up personally for those in your family who wish to participate and are able to. And if you have any trouble with Realm or anything like that, we'll certainly be available in the church fellowship hall. And during Great Lent, we also will be going through a book. Father Mark will be leading a book discussion every Wednesday night during Wednesday Night Live. And those books that we are going to be reading and studying through are available in the bookstore as of today. So may our dear Lord continue to bless us and to bring us together in his holy name. Amen. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted it as holy, celestial, and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return to out, sent down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Oh, Lord. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries, your precious body and blood, from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, que cataxias son imas despota, metaparisias, a catacritos tolman epicalises, tone purion theon patera, que legin paterimon, o endis uranis, ayacito tonomasu, el ceto y basiliasu, yenicito to celimasu, o senurano que epitisis. Tonarton y monto en epiusion, dosim in simeron, que afese minto a felimeta y mon, os que mis afimens felete simon, que mis enengis y mas espiras mon, alarise y mas apatuponidu. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Tatăl nostru, care le ești în ceruri, sfințească se numele Tău, vie împărăția Ta, facă-se voia Ta, precum în cer, așa și pe pământ. Pâinea noastră cea spre ființă, dă-ne nouă astăzi și ne iartă nouă greșelile noastre, precum și noi iertăm greșiților noștri. Și ne nu de ce pe noi în ispită, ci ne izbăvește de cel de clan. Amin. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. To the Lord. That you brought all things out of nothing into being, Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O God, Master, guard the course of our lives according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace and mercy and love for us, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, 
and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, proskomentaiatisais. The holy gifts are for the holy. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken but not divided, for every eat and ever consumed, sanctifying those who partake. Jesus Christos and God. Jesus Christ conquers. Good morning. What a joy it is to be at St. Mark's with a wonderful clergy and all of you in this outstanding and worshipful and delightful and blessed community of St. Mark. God bless you. There was a very large Bible class, and two men were called upon to recite the 23rd Psalm. One was an accomplished speaker trained in techniques of speech and drama. He in the tone the psalm with great beauty and power. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And when he had finished, his audience applauded with enthusiasm and asked him to repeat the verses that they may again would hear his wonderful rendition. Well, then the second man recited the same words, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But when he finished, not a word came from the audience. Instead, the people sat quietly in a deep mood of prayer and devotion. Then the first man got up and he said, I have a confession to make. The difference between what you have just heard from my friend and what you heard from me is that I know the psalm my friend knows the shepherd. This pre-Lenten season, brothers and sisters, is leading us to know the shepherd and the parable of the last judgment in today's gospel lesson confronts us head on with one of the great teachings of our Christian faith. It is one that many of us still have yet to grasp, even though we may have been members of the church all of our lives. To put it as simply as possible, the very best way to know and experience the presence of our Lord, who is our shepherd, the very best way 
to make our journey inward toward God is through the outward journey towards our brothers and sisters and to others. One theologian has put it so simply, the prodigal son cannot fully experience the father's love until he has walked the road on the Jericho along with a good Samaritan. Jesus said, the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. He did this throughout his entire life and ultimately on the cross. And he made it very clear in his teachings that those of us who are his followers are to be women and men for others as well, to reach out in the spirit of love to those, to our families, to those in our neighborhoods, to those in our churches and in our world. And this teaching appears most powerfully in the parable of the Last Judgment, which we have just read this morning from the Gospel of St. Matthew. One of the reasons that St. Matthew's Gospel is placed first in the listing of the New Testament books is that it is the most inclusive of all of Jesus' teachings. The Sermon on the Mount is found only in the Gospel of St. Matthew. And only in Matthew's Gospel do we find this parable of the Last Judgment. It's a key parable to our Christian experience. In order to understand this, we need to pause and reflect on this pre-Lenten season. We need to celebrate the reality of God's amazing grace in our lives. We need to celebrate the fact that God, who is the creator of heavens and earth, is a God who is continuously offering to all of us his loving presence as a source of meaning for our lives. Many of us may have not discovered this as yet, but the gospel truth is that the meaning of our lives is not derived from our money in our possessions, not from our reputation in this world, not from our worldly achievements, but from our experience and interactions we have with our God. God, in his goodness, has given us many ways to position ourselves to experience his love for us. And prayer certainly is a shining example. Worship, worship in this magnificent church. Being here is a special time of thanksgiving and another example. But ultimately, brothers and sisters, when all is said and done, and we stand before the throne of God, the only question remaining is, did you feed the hungry? Were you there when they needed you? Did you serve me? Did you love me in this way, Jesus asked? Did you visit me? Did you reach out to me? By visiting and reaching out to my brothers and sisters in need. When we hear this parable about clothing the naked and feeding the hungry, we tend to think, and rightfully so, of the physical situations of life in this world and the structures of our society that needed to be improved. But often we forget that Jesus' words are loaded with deep meaning. There are many husbands and wives, many children and family members, many people close to us who are starving for emotional and spiritual support, who are starving for acceptance, starving for forgiveness, and starving for understanding. There may be people very close to us who hunger for thirst for the discovery of meaning in their lives, and their relationships with others. Yes, we're called to have this ministry of love to the world, but also a ministry of love to those who are closest to us. Outreach to our family and friends, indeed, and outreach to those in our circle of life. The Lord God Almighty, in his infinite goodness, has implanted deep within us the precious seeds of his mercy and love if we nurture them and allow them to flower in our innermost being, they will produce new seeds for us to plant out of simple love for others, feeding the hungry 
giving drink to the thirsty, clothes to the naked, visiting those who are sick or imprisoned, showing hospitality to the stranger. These are ways of experiencing Christ's presence in our lives most deeply and most abundantly. When we move ourselves into this ministry of love, we find ourselves not only knowing the psalm, but also knowing the shepherd. There's a story that when Albert Einstein was on the lecture circuit, giving his talks about the theory of relativity, he ordinarily traveled in a chauffeur-driven car. One day, while on the road, the story goes, Einstein's chauffeur said to him, Dr. Einstein, I've with you, been with you so long. I've heard this lecture so many, many times. I rememberized it. I know it, and I'll wager I could deliver it myself. Well, it's said that Einstein was indeed a betting man. He said, you know what? I'm going to give you that opportunity. The people at this small school where I'm to lecture next have never, ever met me. Before we get there, let's stop outside the parking lot and we'll switch places. I'll come in the front, put on your chauffeur's cap, and you sit in the back. And then when we enter the school, I'll introduce you as me, and you can give the lecture. Well, Einstein sat in the audience, and the chauffeur got up to give that lecture. And Professor Einstein was so impressed. His delivery was beautiful. He delivered the lecture flawlessly. But as the lecture concluded, a professor in the audience rose and he asked a very complex question about relativity involving mathematical equations and formulas. Well, the quick thinking chauffeur wasn't flustered. He said, I'm surprised you asked such a simple question like this. It's so simple that I'm even going to ask my chauffeur to stand up and give you the answer. <laughs> How do we Christians achieve wholeness of life? How do we get to know who we are and what we ought to do? How do we achieve fulfillment as human beings? How do we achieve a deep sense of life's worth and purpose? The answer to these questions is so simple that you may not believe me if I tell you. So I'm going to ask Jesus to give us the answer. Feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, love one another as I have loved you, and you'll become the uniquely beautiful and fulfilled human being that God wants you to be. May we feed the hungry and give drink to the thirsty and reach out to those in need, because in them we see the Lord Jesus Christ who is the Good Shepherd, always caring for all of his sheep. This I pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, all together from the back of the Green Book, I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, 
But as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. <laughs> delight in his commandments. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. 
earth. His seed shall be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Glory and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness continues unto ages of ages. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. For the upright light springs up in darkness, for he is merciful, compassionate, and righteous. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. A good man is compassionate and lends. He will manage his words with judgment. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true Lord. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has said, Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Taken in the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life, cure, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavor safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we owe for glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And in any prayer for man, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them returned by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever. 
and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, the bow unto the ages. Stand outside with this morning we continue with our prayers, offering memorials for the following servants of our Lord, Constantinos Stamoulos, a 20 year memorial for him and for the wonderful recent 40 day memorial for her sister of Mary Manos, for Charlotte Sheenas. Let us pray together for their eternal salvation. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints abide, give rest also to the souls of these your servants, only you, O Lord, are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and freed the captives from their bondage, Grant rest also, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Only pure and immaculate virgin, who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Costandinos and Charlotte, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. This, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and give life to your world. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep in a place of righteousness, in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. And as a good and loving God, forgive every sin in which they have committed in word, deed, or thought. For there is no person who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep 
and unto you do we offer up glory, unto your eternal Father and your holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his holy and all-pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, of the praiseworthy apostles, and of St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of our church, of the saints, the ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of St. Quadratos and his holy martyrs with him, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect you all on this day and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. Please come forth for Andideron. Father Jim and I will be distributing Andideron. Please know that the realm is next door if you need help with that. Also, thinking theologically, the class is being offered in the, multi, in the conference room. That's the one in the office building. And then our oratorical will be offered today as well. May we all attend to the wonderful things today. Amen. So please come forth to... Father Alexander is going to... It's going to be the Father Alexander's giving on Diderone this morning. God bless you all and have a beautiful day. If we don't start now. thanks unto the Lord for his Alleluia.